All right, all right, all right. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's the great Garrett coming at you live. We're going to do some cold calling all day today because that's what we're doing. Let's see if we can get someone on the phone who's looking to buy or sell a house. Set an appointment. Go on it. Sign the contract. Hello? Hello? Yeah, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Fine. That's good to hear. I was just calling really quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. I'm actually working with someone. Oh, you are working with somebody? Okay, no problem. Have you already uh, uh, signed a contract with them? Yes, I have. Okay. All right. Well, hey, thank you for your time. Zero one three eight eight three five three three is not a Please leave your message for eight zero one four seven. Hello, it's Jeff. Hey, Jeff. This is Garrett. Oh, that's a message. So my contact rate's actually been pretty high um, this last little bit. Something close to like 15 percent or something like that, which is super cool. Just the more people I talk to, the higher chances, the higher chances you have of connecting with somebody. It's not how many people you call, it's how many people you talk to, right? Um, so obviously, the more people you can dial. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Yes. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. How did you come across my number? Well, I was just calling everybody in the Clinton area today. I was just uh, curious to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. Okay. So in the Clinton area. One, I don't live in Clinton. Two, I'm asking where you got my number. Oh, okay. That's weird. I wonder I wonder why it says you're living in Clinton. Um, I actually use a service uh, called Cole's Resource that uh, that pulls uh, all public record phone numbers in, in specific neighborhoods. Well, my phone number is not public record. I put myself on a do not call list. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Well, no problem. I'll, uh, I'll so take you off my in list. The future, remove my number. Thank yeah. you. I'd appreciate it. Goodbye. See, those people, they're nothing to be like, I mean, you're going to get those people, but they're time wasters, right? It's like the the, the 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 less time I can take talking to people like that, the better. <clears throat> however, Sorry, the number you have reached is not in service. However, um, there's just a little bit of personal ego when you start talking to somebody like that that just makes you want to be as rude as they are to you. One, three, eight, so it's like, eight, nine, six, eight. Yeah, it's kind of a double-edged sword. <clears throat> But I mean, in 
in all respects, they're not really being rude to you. They're being rude to the situation. They're, they don't respect a telemarketing call, right? Which a lot of people don't. I'm sure the, you guys watching this don't respect telemarketing calls. Um, however, the, not, the point is not to not bug people. The point is to go after people that are looking to buy or sell a house that are actually uh, going to be in need of something that you can help them with. Um, you can't help everyone and you can't be everything for everybody. And so you got to go through the dirt to find the happy, sane people that you're just going to run into, that you're going to sign, hopefully. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Four three five eight three zero two seven eight two is not available. And people like that, I'm just dropping messages. Um, and for people that don't answer or say two people answer at the same time, um, I'm just leaving a message, you know, saying, "Hey, hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm going to give you a call right back." And then you got to be prepared when someone answers, "Hey, can you hear me now?" So it's like you got to. Welcome to the voice messaging system. Please enter your mailbox number. You got to kind of play along with that. <clears throat> Man. The voicemail box of eight zero one four three zero. Sorry, I'm not talking to a ton of people, but I'm going to be on here for a good while, so keep me up. If you guys are prospecting, I'll prospect with you. However, too, on cold calls, cold, cold calls like this, um, I am I am not using my own phone number. I'm using a – hello? I'm using a Google Voice number so that I personally don't get called back. It really just kind of flags out all the hate messages and – and stuff like that, because you get quite a bit. You also get a lot of funny messages, too. Somebody somebody the other day was like, hey, I don't know who you are, and I don't appreciate you getting... I don't appreciate you getting uh, this... I don't appreciate you getting this uh, this phone number, but you sound cute, so I'll let you off the hook. <laughs> this is stupid stuff like that. It's just funny.
Utah Mortgage. This is Russ. Hey, Russ. This is Garrett with uh, Refined Real Estate. How are you doing? Doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. I was uh, just calling around uh, to see if uh, if you knew of anybody looking to, to buy a house we could help out right now. I don't. Okay. No problem. Well, I appreciate you for your time, and you have a good uh, uh, rest of your weekend, okay? Okay. You too. Have a good one. Thank you. We'll see you. That was a mortgage guy. Eight zero one six two eight three one six seven is not a so as far as what I um am calling a contact, if somebody answers and I say my whole thing and then I hear them hang up, um I'm certainly gonna count that as a contact because it's basically just a no without them saying no, but uh you still technically were kind of in a conversation with somebody. They knew who you were and what you were calling for. You know? Hey, Bryce. Hey, Bryce. This is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you doing? I'm fine. Oh, it's good to hear. I was just calling really quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. Oh, now why would you ask me that? I was just uh. Did I tell you that, or are you just soliciting? No, yeah, I'm just I'm just calling around the neighborhood. Yeah, I'm a contractor, so you pulled me off my job. Oh, I apologize. So I am I am not I'm not going to be building a new home. Okay. A nice brand new home right now. All right. Well, hey, that sounds good. I appreciate it for your time. That's another thing you guys are going to encounter when doing this, and I'm sure if you guys are prospecting, you already know this, but people like that that blame you for taking them away from something. Um, I just stepped out of a meeting for this call. Um, I'm on the other line with, you know, my funeral director or my, my accountant or, you know, whatever extreme situation, right? They blame it on you because they're frustrated. But that's not. That has nothing to do with you. It has Your call has been forwarded to an automatic only voice. everything to do with the way they're feeling in that moment. Comment below if you guys can you guys hear the actual the people speaking on the other end of the line? I'm hoping you can. Comment in the chat thing to see if let me know if you can hear the the people. I'm not sure if you can hear them or not. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Fantastic. Oh, that's good to hear. I was uh, just calling real quick to see if you had plans of buying a house this year. Nope. All right. No problem. Well, I appreciate you for your time then. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Hey, Michael. Okay, it says it's quiet. Let me see if I can turn up the volume somehow. Turn up the main. We could not complete your call. Please try again. All right. Maybe that's better. We'll see. People have kind of been quiet, though, so...
Sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. Hello, this is Mark. Hey, Mark. This is Garrett with Refined Real Hello. Estate. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. I was uh, just calling real quick to see if you guys had plans of buying a house this year. Uh, nope. Okay. No problem. I well, appreciate you for your time. Thank you. See ya. Bye-bye. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Not interested, thanks. See, if they stay on the line, a, a, a call like that, if they stay on the line, a fun thing to to do is just, what aren't you interested in? And I'll say, whatever you're selling. They're like, I'm not selling anything. They're like, okay, what do you want? And then ask them if they're selling something or if they're looking to buy something, right? A call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. And then they may or may not get pissed at you. <laughs> but that's not... That's not the purpose of it. The purpose of it is to find that person who does find value in what you're about to say to them. If you go through life trying not to piss as many people off as you can. Hello. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. I was uh, just calling real quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. Nope. Okay, no problem. Do you guys have any plans of moving ever? Nope. All right. Well, you have a good rest of your weekend, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Um, What I was saying is if you go your whole life trying not to piss people off, you're going to live a pretty... uh a pretty boring uh, life for the most part. There's no way, even if you try. This is Haley. Hey, Haley, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Hey, Garrett, good. How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah, I was uh, just calling real quick to see if uh, you had any plans of buying a house this year. Uh, I'm an agent. Oh, you're an agent. I'm not sure why you're calling me. Oh, shoot. I apologize. I must yeah. have the wrong number. <laughs> okay. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Nine out of ten times when people are overly nice to you on the phone like that, they're probably agents. Like, hey, a friend. <clears throat> Hi, this is Yolanda Keenan. If you leave your name and number and a Hello. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Eight zero one nine nine one. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Eight zero one five one zero seven one three five is not available.
Hello. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you this morning? been forwarded to an automatic voice message system I'm going to have to switch my audio here for a second while I charge my headset. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system.
Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Yeah, no problem. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Uh, this is Garrett. I work with Refined Real Estate. I was just calling to see if you had plans of buying a house this year. Okay, no problem. Well, I appreciate you for your time. Thank you. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you doing? This dude's like, She's like, did you know that it's did you know that it's gay to call random people? It's like I said before. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them and the way they're living their life and they're choosing to live their life, right? <clears throat> Our goal, my goal, is not to avoid negative feedback or criticism in any way, shape, or form. My goal is to speak with somebody who... Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you doing? Um, my goal is to find somebody who finds value in what I'm providing, and that's it. This is like the physical version of sending someone a piece of mail and then throwing it away. You wouldn't consider that rude. Um, but them hanging up on you or saying something mean or whatever is like the equivalent of them throwing away your piece of mail. But you're not mailing to all the people that are going to throw it away. You're mailing to that one person who's going to call you, right? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you doing? He just said he wasn't interested. I am not interested. Goodbye. Sorry guys, what's my... Hey Dave, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Uh, Refined Real Estate, the real estate company. No, he hung up. Yeah, man, give me, give me... You know, it's probably 10 more minutes. Let my headset charge a little bit, and then we'll be able to hear both sides. 
Um, I just have to charge my headset. It was off the charger all night last night, unfortunately. So yeah, in about 10 minutes, we'll be able to hop it back on. We can hear both sides. I wonder though, let me see if I can mess with some audio setting and you guys can actually hear that. So that's the microphone. No, there's really nothing. There's no like input or output. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. I was just calling really quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. Yeah, okay. No problem, thank you. We'll see ya. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, I was uh, just calling really quick to see if you guys had any plans of buying a house this year. Yeah, uh, I was uh, just calling real quick to see if uh, you guys had plans of buying a house this year. Um, yeah, I was uh, just calling to see if uh, you guys had plans of buying a house this year. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. You have a great rest of your weekend. Goodbye. Another cool old guy. <clears throat> you know what? I have this hooked to my computer. You guys might be able to hear the other side. Hello? Yeah, hey, I'm uh, I'm looking for Heidi. Oh, sorry about that. Goodbye. See, sometimes I make the mistake of asking them for the name on the record, which nine out of ten times the record is incorrect. So instead of instead of asking for the wrong number and saying, "Oh, well, maybe you can help me," um, I just start out with introducing who I am, and if they turn out to be hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Okay, no problem. I appreciate you for your time. See, that was another one, right? You just caught me right in the middle of my appointment. You took me out of it. Crazy stuff. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Uh, Refined Real Estate? I'm doing good, thank you. I was just calling really quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. Yeah, okay. Sure, sure, no problem. Well, no, that's no problem. I'll, uh, I'll follow up with you in here in a few months and we'll see where you're at, okay? You too, thank you.
Hello, this is Garrett with Refine Real Estate. How are you? Uh, refined Real Estate? Yeah, I was uh, just calling around real quick. I was wondering if you guys had plans of uh, buying a house this year. All right. Well, that's awesome. I appreciate you for your time then. Thank you. All right. Goodbye. For those of you that are avid prospectors like me, I like I like something to like just play with while I'm prospecting. I like to play with like playing cards, shuffle around, cut them, just something to do with your hands so you're not so just staring at the wall all the time, you know. Something to pay attention to. Kind of like a fidget thing, right? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. I was uh, just calling real quick to see if you had plans of buying a house this year. Okay, no problem. Well, appreciate you for your time then. You have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Bye-bye. See, I think the happy people you talk to outnumber the unhappy people like probably five or six to one. Some days it's worse, but... For the most part, about 20% of the people you talk to aren't going to enjoy a call. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. I was uh, just calling real quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. Okay, no problem. Well, I appreciate you for your time, and you have a wonderful rest of your day, okay? Thank you. So the way I see it, if you're mailing out, let's say you mail out a sales letter, and you mail out a thousand of them, and, you know, God, you know, your, your response is a third of a percent, right? A third of a percent actually... Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Uh, refined Real Estate? Yeah, I was uh, just calling real quick to see if uh, you had any plans of buying a house this year. Oh, cool. Right on. Well, no problem. I appreciate you for your time then. Thank you. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I forgot what I was saying, guys. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give my headset another three minutes. Another three minutes to charge, and then um, I can get both sides on the call here. You guys can listen to the other side. This is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Uh, Garrett, I work with Refined Real Estate. I was just calling to see if you had plans of buying a house this year. Okay, no problem. Well, I appreciate you for your time. Uh, have a good day.
see my contact rate's pretty high right now. 40 contacts in the last 45 minutes. No, I've been prospecting before that. So probably closer to like 20 contacts in the last 45 minutes. Still, 20 contacts. We can get hit 30 contacts in an hour. That's all. That's 30 conversations per hour. That's 150 contacts a day if you're prospecting five hours. Which, if you can get to 1,000 contacts in two weeks, you're doing good. But that's what I was saying. Um, the, the, the third of a percent, so you say you talk to a thousand people, a third of a percent actually ends up doing something they're serious about it. That's three people. That's three solid leads for two weeks worth of work that maybe you only get, you know, one contract or two contracts, but that one or two contracts. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Uh, Refined Real Estate, the real estate company. Yeah, I was uh, just calling really quick to see if you had plans of buying a house this year at all. All right. Hey, thank you. <clears throat> um, if that turns into one contract, I mean, think about it. That's that could be you know five to thirty thousand dollars for one deal, right? So five thousand dollars every two weeks. Turns to ten thousand dollars. That's you know over six figures a year just for simply cold calling. And it's not the funnest thing to do, but if you can get over the repetitious boredom of it, it's fun. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? That's good to hear. I was just calling really quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. Okay, no problem. Well, I appreciate you for your time. Thank you. So if you can find a way to get through that repetitious boredom and just do it, then uh, you'll be putting yourself in a lot better position, for sure. Cool, so I'm going to switch over headsets here. Hopefully you guys can hear it. All right, I think you guys are about to hear it now, a little bit better, both sides. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Good. That's good to hear. Yeah, I was just calling real quick to see if you had plans of buying a house this year. No. Okay, no problem. I appreciate, I appreciate you for your time then. Thank you. Yeah, I think you guys can hear the other side now, hopefully. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Good. That's good to hear. I was just calling to see if you guys had plans of buying a house this year. Nope. All right. No problem. I appreciate you for your time. Thank you. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Oh, please leave a message after the tone.
Hello? Hello? Too little too late, young man. So, yo, hello. This is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How you doing? I'm okay. That's good to hear. I was just calling real quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. Uh, I probably will be. Okay, gotcha. When uh, when might something like that happen? Uh, when I sell my other house. Okay, gotcha. Where do you live at? Upstate New York. Okay, gotcha. And do you know when you uh when you're planning on selling that house? Uh, not right away. Okay. Can I ask how you got my number? Yeah, I was actually just calling everybody um, in the Clearfield area, um, just seeing who's uh who's active in the market right now. Uh, I'm not even in the Clearfield area, so that's why I'm questioning how you got my number. Oh, that's weird. I wonder why it says you live in Clearfield. Um, yeah, so we use a service called Cole's Resource. What's my name is? Um, it says Delwyn uh, Lydiard. Nope. Is that is that not you? Oh hell no. <laughs> okay, no problem, man. Where where are you at? Let me figure out how far this is off. Uh, try New York State. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, you're way off then. I apologize for disturbing you. Not a problem. All right. We'll see you. <clears throat> that guy must have lived in Clearfield at some point. Hello? Yeah, I'm looking for Jeff. This is Jeff. Hey, Jeff. This is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you doing? With who? Uh, Refined Real Estate. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just calling. I was just calling real quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. No. All right, no problem. Well, I appreciate you for your time, and you have a good rest of your day, okay? Yeah, you too. Thank you. Remember this statement, guys. Those of you that are watching, the only guaranteed. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you doing? Uh, fine, thank you. Well, that's good to hear. I was uh, just calling real quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. I do not. Okay, no problem. Well, I appreciate you for your time, and you have a wonderful rest of your day, okay? You too. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Um, the only guaranteed failure is to stop now and give up. Take action now and live the rest of your life as a champion. That's really it. If you're off the phones, you're not talking to people, which means you're not in production mode, which means you're likely out of business. It's just the way it is. Hello. Hello. This is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? With who? Uh, refined Real Estate. Okay. Yeah, I was just calling real quick to see if uh, you had any plans of buying a house this year. No, I don't. Okay, no problem. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate for your time. Thank you.
I have hung up on my wall here. Rules of being positive. I made a video about this not too long ago, if you guys don't already follow me. Um, but this is a Grant Cardone list of rules of being positive. Um, be seen by others as positive. Act so positive people have to ask. Use energy and enthusiasm in every action. Wear the attitude. Go all in like you have unlimited energy. Be 100% in your expectations. Set your goals high. Drive yourself. Confront your fears. Allocate your time. Put your biggest challenge first. When in doubt, just do it. Be an overachiever. Commit to yourself. Only blame yourself. Operate like your life depends on it. Act hungry. Be willing to do anything to close the deal. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How you doing? With who? Uh, Refined Real Estate. Okay. Yeah, I was just calling real quick to see if you guys had a plan of buying a house this year. Nope. I have one. Got it. Well, I appreciate you for your time. Thank you. The reason I'm asking people if they want to buy their house instead of sell a house, um, because it draws out a lot faster. Um, the uh, the fact that I have to ask them again if they're buying a house after I ask them if they're selling their house. Hello. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Yeah, I was just calling really quick to see if you had any plans at all of buying a house this year. Nope, I already have one. Okay, no problem. Well, I appreciate you for your time then. Thank you. Thank you. If I ask if they're buying a house, then if the answer is yes, the next question is, are you renting or do you have a house to sell first? So then you become a buyer-seller situation or you just have a buyer situation. In either case, um, the only people you're really missing out on are people that um, – people that are possibly trying to sell a rental or anything like that, um, which is going to be fewer and far between than people that are just residentially not investing. They're just buying or selling a personal residence. And so quickly I can dry out if they're buying and selling just by simply asking if they're buying because sellers don't get excited about selling their house. This is Teresa. Please leave me a message. They get excited about buying a house. At the tone, please and then they have to sell their house to make that happen, right? I don't think anybody's super stoked about having to sell their house, move, pack. They're excited about getting into a new house, something that's going to um, treat them better. So if they're planning on buying, chances are they're planning on selling. Plus, by asking the question, you pick off renters. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with uh, Refined Real Estate. How are you today? How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Yeah, I was just calling really quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. Uh, nope, we already got our house paid for and everything. We already got another house, so I think we're good right now. All right, sounds good. Well, hey, I appreciate you for your time, and you have a good rest of your weekend. <laughs> you too, thanks. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of my philosophy. Hello? Hello. Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. There you are. Yeah, I was... I hear you. I was... Uh, uh, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. I was just calling real quick to see if you had plans of buying a house this year. This is who with who? Uh, my name is Garrett. I work with Refined Real Estate, the real estate company. Real estate company where? Um, we are out of uh, Ogden and Layton. What state is that in? In Utah? Okay, I live in North Carolina, so I don't oh, even know how you get shoot. my phone number. That is super weird. I apologize. 
It's okay. All right. You have a good rest of your day. Take care. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs> that lady definitely sounded like an Aunt Jemima Southerner, huh? Sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Everybody wants to know that Aunt Jemima lady, right? Head over there, they make just a freaking five-star breakfast for you. Everybody's got that person in their life. I know they do. Well. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Avery. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, I was uh, just calling to see if you had plans of buying a house this year. Um, I can't take this call right now. Okay, no problem. She's just yelling at her kids. This is... After this call answers, I'll talk about something real quick I think is interesting. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. I was uh, just calling real quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. I don't. I'm actually living with my parents while I go to school. Okay, cool. No problem. Well, I appreciate you for your time, and you have a good rest of your day, okay? You too, thanks. Thank you. Um, what's interesting to me is why uh, loan officers. Hello, this is Colleen. Hey, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Um, good. What, what can I help you with? Yeah, I was just calling real quick to see if you had plans of buying a house this year. I don't. And Garrett, I apologize. I, I'm uh, on an interview call, actually, so I, I'll need to make this pretty short. But uh, no, we're not interested this year. Okay, no problem. Well, you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Thank you. I took her off of her interview call, guys. She stopped her interview to pick up this call. What? Hello? Please leave your message for 801. It's crazy, crazy people. People are funny. I'm curious, for those of you watching this video, interact a little bit. What's the number one thing that you want to see happen for yourself, for your family this year? Do you want to go on a vacation? you want to make a certain amount of money? Do you want to you know, buy a new car, a new motorcycle, a new yacht? What is it that you want to see the number one thing if this, this one thing happened, it was a successful year this year in 2018? What is that one thing for you? But the person you called has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Your calling session is now complete. All records have been called based on your call settings and advanced filters. To log out of the dialer, simply hang up your phone now. To start a new session, please press the OK button on your screen and follow the prompts to the call wizard. Out of one and into the other. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Eight zero one two one seven. I think my biggest goal this year, personally, is uh, um, taking me and my wife out to Hawaii this year. I think if we could, if we could find some time and do that, that would be super, super fun. I've never been to Hawaii, neither has she, so. We're pretty excited about it.
Hello. Hello, this is Garrett with Refine Real Estate. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Yeah, I was just calling really quick to see if you had any plans of uh, uh, buying a house this year. Uh, no. Okay. Not really? Okay. <laughs> no problem. Well, I appreciate you for your time, and you have a wonderful day. Okay. Um, conversion ratios for me over the last five years um, has been about on a cold calls like this about one appointment for every 100 people I speak to. Sometimes I speak to you know, you know two 200 people, 250 people with no appointments, and all of a sudden I get two or three appointments like that in a week, right? Like, and so it's like you just kind of gotta have that faith to just keep driving forward, right? Hello. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Can you hear me? Check, look at that. I've made... I mean, total today, I mean, 299 dials on 57 contacts. That's, that's pretty good. I think that's like around 20%, 19%, something like that. Hello. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah, I was just calling real quick to see if you guys had plans of buying a house this year. I hung up before I could. See, that counts as a no, right? He acknowledged me and then said no by hanging up. See, they're more efficient with their time than we are. Sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not. We'd be willing to talk to someone we don't even want to talk to. They don't care. They'll just hang up on you. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system, 801. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system, 8013. Eight eight zero eight one four is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. So this week so far, I have set three appointments. This month so far, I've signed three contracts. Um, I haven't put anything under contract this month. Can but leave your message for we're hoping something will go under contract here soon. Hello. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? I'm doing fine. Would you take me off your uh, calling list, please? Yeah, no problem. Bye-bye. I love it when people are like semi-confrontational about stuff like that, and then they like don't want to. They don't want to hear your response back to them, right? Something as simple as "Can you take me off your list?" and then uh, they just like, "All right, bye." Don't give you a chance to talk. 
probably because a lot of people are going to be like, whoa. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Hello. Estate. How are you? Fine. No, well, that's good to hear. Yeah, I was just calling really quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. No. Nope. All right, no problem. I'll appreciate it for your time then. Thank you. I think, too, prospecting in a space where there's other people that are prospecting is super beneficial. And I also think if you're if you're uh, um, somebody who gets distracted easily, prospecting by yourself is also super beneficial if you can discipline yourself to... Hello. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Hello. Estate. How are you? Who's this? Uh, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was just calling to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. Uh, no, we sure don't. Okay. No, no inklings to do that. Yep. No problem. Well, I appreciate you for your time. Thank you. Um, which is why I play with cards. Give your mind something to do. Give your mind something to focus on between. Call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. You know, people all kind of seem to blend into the same person sometimes. And so while you're doing this, it's like something different to focus on. Even if, if you know how to play solitaire, right? That's the name of the game. Keep your mind focused on something that doesn't take you away from the prospecting, like Facebook, writing emails, responding to people, um, stuff like that at all is, it's so mind, like you can't, you can't multitask like that. When you're doing something, your mind focuses so in on that thing and then someone's like, hello, and then you're like, you just want to hang up on them immediately because they just interrupted you. I've seen people do it. Some people can do it. I cannot do it. I cannot multitask at all if I'm just sitting there playing with cards or shuffling or, you know, flipping cards around, playing with them. That's fine. Um, but I think it's super, super important. Even have a movie on in the background, right? I have a third, a third screen right here. Huh? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? I'm okay. No, oh, it's good to hear. I was just calling really quick to see if you had any plans of uh, buying a house this year. No, we do not. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, I have a third TV right here, just in case I like want to watch a movie or something. Turn the volume down, and just sit there and stare at it. You know, it's not something that your mind's actively having to focus on, but it's like noise. It's a, it's like background stuff that like when someone answers, like, "Hey, how's it going?" You know. You don't want to turn prospecting into something that's like so unenjoyable that you just dread doing it all the time. Um, Tony Robbins calls scoring it, right? Score whatever you're doing to make it more enjoyable because it's something. Hello, Hello this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Uh, I'm not Um, Because it's something that you have to do. Um, unless you have tons of other marketing methods that are working for you and you don't have to prospect, that's great. But if you don't, um, this is going to be the fastest, most efficient way for you to generate business that you're responsible for. You're not relying on anybody else. You're relying on you, um, which is really the only power that you have. Hey, this is Vicky. I can't get to the phone right now. Leave if you can't rely on you, call then you back. Thanks. who can you rely on? Nobody. I'm going to get some more tea. Hello. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. Hello. How are you? Fine. That's good to hear. I was just calling really quick to see if you had plans of buying a house this year. Uh, we just bought one last year. Oh, you just bought one. So we're all set. All righty. Well, appreciate yeah. you for your time. Thank you. But appreciate it.
Mount Quality. Appreciate your call. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you. Thanks. And I'm, the drop message I'm using is literally the same exact. Hello? Hello. Yeah, I'm, this is Garrett with yeah. Refined Real Estate. How are you? Good. Oh, it's good to hear. Yeah, I was Who's just again? Uh, Garrett, I work with uh, Refined Real Estate. I was just calling real quick to see if you guys had plans of buying a house anytime this year. No. All right. No problem. I appreciate you for your time. Thank you. Eight zero one four five eight five four eight six is not available. Hi, you've reached Aubrey Hancock. Please send me a call at 760-407-5102. Thank you. Bye-bye. So you'll notice if you're watching these names on here, they're not the same as the voicemails. <clears throat> which is why you don't ask for a specific person, which is why I don't ask for a specific person. I do agree it's better if if you could do that. <sighs> Sometimes we just don't always have that option. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Oh, it's good to hear. Yeah, I was just calling really quick to see if you had any plans of uh, buying a house this year. Um, probably not. Okay, no problem. Well, appreciate you for your time. You have a good rest of your day. Yeah, you too. Hey, 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 hey. If you guys have not done it yet, this is this is like this is key. This is crazy stuff right here. If you guys have not done the ten minute uh, whim. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. Hello? How are you? If you guys have not done the 10-minute Wim Hof breathing method, like this afternoon, like do it. You have to do it. Just 10 minutes. You can spare 10 minutes. Lay on your floor. Do the breathing. And I guarantee you, guarantee you, your whole entire body is going to light up and you're going to feel like a meditative experience you've never felt before. This isn't anything to do with your mind. You're literally going to force your body out of your mind and into your body because your body is just going to be vibrating. I swear to God. Like, it's a breathing. It's a breathing method. you got 10 minutes. It's totally insane. You guys got to check it out. W-I-M-H-O-F-F, Wim Hof breathing. Do the 10-minute video. I swear it's going to freak you out. Um when my coach told me about it, I was like, ah, whatever. And I did it, and I was like, crazy. A lot of people that I know don't don't like to do it anymore because it freaks them out too much. Um, but I love it. I think it's it, it, it oxygenates every cell in your body, and uh, it alkalizes your body as well. Like, you can literally feel heavily a, tra- a change going on in your whole entire body. Like, you can feel it. 
it's not like anything that's like, oh, meditative, I'm super calm. Like, no, like you feel like your body going, whoa, 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 whoa. It's weird. It's crazy cool. Um, so do that. I'm probably going to prospect till 1230, and then I'm going to take lunch, do the Wim Hof breathing, and then come back for the rest of the afternoon. So just FYI to all you friends watching. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm doing good, thank you. Yeah, I was just calling real quick to see if you had plans of buying a house this year. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, no problem. I appreciate you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. You have reached the voicemail box of 8013907478. At the tone, please record your voice message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up. So I've heard there's a dialer that that dials five lines at once for you. I'm not sure how you could do that with like FCC regulations and stuff like that, but like that is insane to me five lines at once. I mean, you can already talk to a lot of people on three lines. Five lines, man, I feel like you'd be dropping a lot of calls. But maybe you wouldn't. Maybe it would just be call after call. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe they have you. Have you put a message when someone answers you? Hey, can I put you on a quick hold for a second? And then you hang up. That would suck. <clears throat> so like I said... Hello. You're not available now. I think the biggest thing... Your call has been with prospecting in general, is like you're going to be sitting down for a long period of time or you're standing up, whatever you're doing, um, you've got to figure out something to do with your hands, something to do with your eyes that's not Facebook, that's not responding, that's not writing a book, that's not writing an email, that's not really taking up any of your focus, but something to make it so your brain doesn't start shrivel up and melting in your head. I've seen it happen. It comes out of their ears and it's blood and it's it's gross. So find some find something that's like that you can play. With. Box of stop eight, playing. Zero, the day you one, stop eight. playing, the day you stop laughing and playing is the day your life becomes meaningless. That's deep. That's too deep for this video. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah, I was just calling really quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. Mm, possibly, but it would be in New Mexico where I'm living now. Oh, okay. Got it. Well, hey, I appreciate you for your time then. All right. Thank you. New Mexico. This is Tammy. Hey, Tammy. This is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Good. How can I help you? Yeah, I was just calling to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. No. And whatever list you found me on, I'd appreciate if you removed me from it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for your help, though. Thank you.
This is Paul. Hey, Paul. This is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How you doing? All good. That's good. Yeah, I was just calling really quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. Buying a house? Uh-huh. I, I'm in a really busy area right now. Can you call me back in about a half hour or so? Yeah, no problem. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Okay, bye. Like someone like that who was just like no, but was like call me back. He was he repeated what I said, which was, you know, buying a house. So you never know. Sometimes you call those people back and they're like no, and then you call them back again. They're like yeah, you know, I was thinking about it and blah 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 blah. So it could turn into a good lead for you or for me. Hey, you reached Gary's voicemail. Please leave me a message and I'll call you back. It's crazy though, even with Cole's 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 list, like they're so inaccurate as far as like who you're who you're calling. Like I know a lot of people get pissed about for sale owners and acquired being wrong numbers. And that's tough because you're actually a lead on those and like um they're a lot more expensive. People like this though, it's like you've no you've nothing to back up while you're calling them. So that's a lot easier to have wrong wrong uh, names connected to numbers. Hello. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? And she hung up. Is this a personal preference? I put all hang-ups in the trash list, or most of them. I'm just going to waste my time. Hello, Clay here. Hey, Clay, this is Garrett with uh, Refined Real Estate. How are you doing? Uh, I'm good. I'm yeah, good. That's good to hear. What can I do for you? Yeah, I was just calling really quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. Oh, um, well, actually, we're building a house. We're right in, we're in the tail end of our construction. Oh, right on. Well, you guys are all set then. Well, I appreciate you taking the call. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. It's a good thing this live stream is going to end in 16 minutes because I am going to. Hello? Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Who is this? Uh, This is Garrett with Refined Real Estate, the real estate company. How did you get my cell number? Well, I was calling everybody in the Clearfield area today. Um, We use a service called Cole's Resource. I was just checking to see if uh, you had plans of buying a house this year. Uh, On buy? No, we don't have plans on buying a house. Okay, no problem. Well, I appreciate you for your time then. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Isn't it fun to blame the call service for why you're calling instead of yourself? Coles is responsible. They give me. Hello. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. Hello. How are you? Good. Yeah, it's good to hear. Yeah, I was just calling real quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. Uh, no. Okay, no problem. You got a house, thanks. Hey, thank you. We'll see ya. It's Cole's fault. If they didn't give me your number, then I wouldn't be calling you, right? Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you?
call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Eight zero. This is Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. This is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Who's this? Uh, Garrett. I work with Refined Real Estate, the real estate company. Oh, yeah, huh? Yeah, I was uh, just calling real quick to see if, if uh, oh, I'm doing great. Um, I was just calling really quick to see if you guys had plans of buying a house this year. Nope. Okay, no problem. Well, you have a good rest of your weekend then. Thank you. Um, I always like to say the real estate company, kind of like, you know, the real estate company. Most people be like, oh, yeah, okay, when they have no idea what that is. Or where you're from. Hello. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? With who? Uh, Refined Real Estate. I'm uh, losing my number. And that's what the trash list is meant for. <clears throat> Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Look, Karen Deemer. Steve Bella. Hello. Happy Friday to you. This is Garrett with uh, Refined Real Estate. How are you? Please don't call me. All right. Thank you. I opened up with Happy Friday to you. Steve, she said, please don't call me anymore. That's funny, though. That's fun. It's a fun thing to do. Hello. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing good, thank you. Yeah, I was just uh, calling real quick to see if uh, you guys had any plans of selling your house. Um, We don't own a home. Oh, you don't own a home. Do you guys have any plans of buying a house? No, my husband's in medical school, so we will be renting for a while. Got it. Well, hey, no problem. I appreciate you for your time, and uh, you have a good rest of your day, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. See how, see how that, like, was extended? I asked them if they were selling their house. They said, I don't have a house. And then it sounds like I'm fishing, like, oh, you're looking to buy a house now? So now it's like I'm I'm being, like, the everyone for everyone type of guy, and, like, that's not, that's not what I am looking for here. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Hello. Real Estate. How are you? Can you hear me now? 
Hello? Can you hear me? There you go. Hi, Bing. I can hear you. Hello? Can you hear me now? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this is Hello? Garrett. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes? Okay, cool. Um, my name is yeah, Garrett. Yeah, I hear you. My name's Garrett. I work with uh, Refined Real Estate. I was just calling to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. Oh, no, no. We're remote. We are fine. Okay. Thank you anyway. Hey, Bye. thank you. We'll see ya. Yeah, Steve, it is a tough crowd today, but that's not too bad. There's way worse days than today, and 99 out of 100 people are going to tell you no or tell me no. So it's to be expected. If I contact physically 500 people and don't get a single thing, then I have the option to be bummed out. But until that happens, i got to keep pushing. I'm going to keep pushing, right? I feel like a lot of people think that you start going into the repetition boredom of cold calling and you're not getting an immediate result and then you're thinking it's a waste of time. But I'll tell you what, it's a bigger waste of time to be working. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, that's, a, that's good to hear. Yeah, I was just calling really quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year. Um, no, I'm only 16. Oh, all right. Well, thank you for your time anyways. I think you have the wrong number. I do not like talking to 16-year-olds at all. None. Bad deal. Trash those, trash those numbers. <clears throat> um, hold on. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Good. That's good to hear. Yeah, I was just calling really quick to see if uh, you had any plans of buying a house this year. No, I don't. Okay, no problem. Well, I appreciate you for your time. Thank you. Um, a bigger waste of time is working on anything but expanding your reach and talking to people about it. Maybe you're spending an hour replying to Facebook messages about people selling real estate. That's perfect. Um, but if you're just sitting there like building a website, if you're responding to emails, if you're doing anything during the calling hours that you could be doing outside the calling hours, it's a waste of time. You can never have too many pre-qualified um, subjects, listings, leads, buyers. And so, I mean, unless you're showing houses or putting out a fire, which you should be, you know. Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Good, how you doing? Oh, that's good. I'm doing good. Thank you. Yeah, I was just calling real quick to see if you had plans of buying a house this year. Uh, not necessarily, no. Okay, no problem. When do you think something uh, like that might happen? Um, it, it could any time, but I don't necessarily need help doing it. So. Okay, no problem. Well, I, for the offer. Hey, I appreciate it for your time. Um... Yeah, unless you're putting out a fire or doing something that is going to push you more towards generating revenue, like closing a deal is perfectly fine. Working a deal is perfectly fine. Your call has been forwarded to an if you're not lead generating, then what are you doing?
please leave your message for Anita Melner. the voicemail box of 80 has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system four three five eight eight one two six nine seven hello hello this is Garrett with refined real estate how are you good yeah it's good to hear I was just calling real quick to see if you had any plans of buying a house this year nope no all right hey no problem I'll appreciate for your time that. We'll see ya. All right, guys, I got one more minute of prospecting. I'm logging off. I got to go urinate and then eat, do the Wim Hof. You guys got to do the Wim Hof today. I'm telling you, you have to. It blows your mind. Hello? Hello, this is Garrett with Refined Real Estate. How are you? Sorry, what's up? Uh, with uh, Refined Real Estate, the real estate company. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm not looking at real estate right now. Oh, okay. Well, hey, I appreciate it for your time. Thank you. No problem. Bye. Cool. That was my last contact for this session. I'll be back in probably an hour, hour and a half after I... Um, complete my my duty